It's just cushion kombuka. Uh -huh. Yo, what it sound like? It's your boy One Shot Spittoon. And no, it's not about rap this time. So nah, I ain't spitting no bars at you. I just I just wanted to tap in with y'all get into something a little bit different than than, you know, the rhyme and the music and all that. Just a little another aspect, another angle of my life, you know what I mean? Um the other day I was on YouTube and I came across a follow up trailer to a previous trailer that I saw last year. And so what it's basically a sequel to a game that I used to play a long time ago, you know what I mean? Definitely over 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like 15 years ago. So yeah, a long time ago. Uh, and and I don't know, I just, you know what I mean? It, it's it's attached to, to an anime that, that I used to watch when I was younger, you know what I'm saying? It, um, Actually, my favorite anime, to be honest with you, it's called Gungrave. So they got a sequel out. Well, it's coming. The sequel's coming out next year, to be honest with you. Yeah, the sequel's coming out 2022. But oh no, man! I just wanted to talk a little bit about this trailer because I, I I feel like I saw some things in there that need to be addressed, or that some I'm pretty sure other people saw too. You know what I mean? So I just I popped out my camera. Well, not really my camera. Nah, that wasn't the camera. Um, that was the well, it was it was the the camera on the phone. It's a nice phone, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's definitely a nice camera that comes with the phone. But you know, I also like to operate with my GoPro. But I just wanted to talk about a few things on there. So you know what I mean? This gives you, you know, this gives you a little bit like again a little window of of a little bit more about one shot Splatoon. I don't play games all you know all the time. Um, but you know, when I was young, I used to play them a lot. And now, you know, when I get certain little breaks, I do like to, to I, I do like to play them every now and then. But it's there's not a lot like there's not a lot of the the type that I like. You know what I'm saying? Is it's it's a real small, you know, it's a it's not it's not a huge amount of different games out there that I like. I guess I'm kind of niche with it. You know what I mean? So. When I see something like this, follow up the gun grave, which, you know, I like the first two joints. And the, the, again, the anime is my favorite anime. So I just wanted to, to tap in and talk about this. So, you know, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to take over the, the gaming YouTube sector, you know, but I definitely want, I want people to, 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 to watch the video. Um, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm definitely not a pro as far as like the editing with all of that. So it's, you know, rock with me on that. But just pay attention to the points that I go over. You know what I mean? And again, this might be something that, that you might have came across, something that you might have seen, something that you might have noticed too. So, you know, drop, drop all, you know, all the feedback, all the insight in, in the comments, all your reactions in the comments. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be other people doing reactions to this because, yo, I'm starting to see. I, I didn't realize there was such a huge following to Gungrave like this. You know what I mean? I, I didn't I didn't realize that, but I saw a lot of positive comments. You know what I mean? I saw plenty of positive comments. Most of, most of the comments, I think every comment I saw was positive. You feel me? So that's that's good energy right there. And hopefully, as I mentioned in the video, they continue to to do the 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 anime series. I hope they pick up right where they left off from. Um, I don't even want to drop all the keys that I drop in the video. Uh, so I just want y'all to watch, man, and subscribe if you ain't already, cause. As you can see, I'm cool. And if you here, you cool. You know I mean, that's the only reason why you here. You was looking for something else that's cool, something cool to do, something cool to watch, something. You know what I mean? That's 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 what we do. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's one shots with Tom. Thanks for staying up with me. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you might have noticed. Got the red ink hoodie, the black one. Got other colors too. But the Rand Ink hoodie, it's official. If you know how to find it, 
you know where to go. But if not, I'll provide you the link. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got no problem throwing up the link for you. To my, it's actually at uh, T Springs, you know what I mean? But I'll give you my direct link so that you can easily find it, take out, take out all the hassle. Yeah, it's your boy One Shot Spittoon. Doing something a little different today. I mean, I know a lot of people that listen to me out there never met me before and may not know about the stuff that I'm into. But yeah, you know, I'm I'm a dude. I'm I'm, I'm a man. Once a boy. I, uh, so yeah, I play video games, and I actually, I still, I mean, I still enjoy them every now and then. It don't take up a lot of a lot of my day, you know, even a lot of my week. But you know, I keep it for the kids, and every now and then, there's a few joints that I like to play. And there's actually some some games that have been <laughs> in the process of being made for a very long time. Like one has been in the process of being made for years. And it's a it's an MMO game, you know what I mean? Um, I'm I'm waiting on that. Uh, now recently, there's a boxing game that I'm pretty sure y'all familiar with. That's that's in the works, you know. Um, so we heard about it at the end of last year. So we almost going into a year now because it was like November when we was hearing about it, you know. And then November about to be here again. So you know about going into about a year. But um, but yeah. So I I do want to again. This is Rand Inc. TV. So anybody that comes to my, my YouTube channel, you know, it's not One Shot Spittoon uh, YouTube channel. It's it's Rand Inc. TV official YouTube channel for One Shot Spittoon. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you're going to get my joints. You're going to get my music. You're going to get my videos. But um, it's, it's my form of a television channel. You know what I mean? So when you watch a television channel, it has different... It has different things on it. You know, it has different, um, it's not just going to be a bunch of cartoons. It's not just going to be uh, a bunch of commercials. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not just going to be comedies all day. It's going to be some dramas in there. It is going to be some cartoons in there. It's, it's going to be some stand-up. It's going to be different things that you're going to see, reality TV. So, um, again, it's a channel, and that's the way I look at it. But the reason why I'm doing this today, though, because... Uh, I saw this trailer, and I'm late to seeing it because it was it was August, and it's for a game Gungrave. This one is Gungrave Gore, and they got it like an acronym G O R E. Now, uh, anybody out there that's watching this that may know Gungrave is well, yeah, y'all probably don't know Gungrave is my is my favorite anime. You know, what I mean, I, I was introduced to it by a video game way back in the day, early 2000s. You know, what I'm saying played it on the PlayStation Two. And found out that they had an anime to it. Watched the whole series. I saw. I never saw nothing like it. You know what I mean? So, I, I was, but it was it was very short because they only did like um, how many episodes? I think it was like twelve episodes. I can't even remember if it was even twelve episodes. You know what I mean? Because there's like they were DVDs, and I think it's a total of like seven DVDs or something like that. You know what I mean? I, I don't know the. I don't remember the exact number of DVDs. But it stuck. It stuck to me though. Uh, that's again. I watched a lot of anime in my life, but that one is my favorite. So right now, there's a continue. There's a, a follow up to the series because I played part one and part two. I never knew they had a VR version after that. Um, then they made like another one, and I think 2017. So now there's a, a, a new one that's about to drop next year, 2022, and. I noticed some things in the trailer. I could be bugging. Maybe I noticed too many things. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I didn't notice enough. But I'm going to play it, and I'm not saying nothing. And then we're going to go back to it.
Okay. So, yeah. Um, shout out to Sony for this one. You know what I'm saying? For continuing the, the, the series. Now, that was a dope trailer. I want to say big up to... I always want to... I don't know the exact way how to say his name, so I'm going to try it. Yashuhiro Nighthouse. I hope I said it correctly. Um, but yeah, he's the creator of, of Gungrave. Um, and he tapped into something when he did that. Because like, I, I never I never looked at an anime the way I looked at, at Gungrave before or after. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen one like it prior. I haven't seen anyone like it after. But he did make other joints because, you know, he made Trigun. Which, even though you might see some of like the... Um, maybe like the, the artillery that they use and the types of weapons and all of that, you know, the technology that they, that they use might be similar in design, but those are total different stories, total different, like total different, um, anime, like the way they, the way it actually came out. It's not like you're just watching some copy and paste cartoon. You know what I'm saying? It was definitely different. And I, I'm, I, and I can't even tell you all the degree of Trigun, you know what I mean? That I can tell you about about Gungrave. So I'm not a Trigun pro, but um, I definitely, again, Gungrave is my favorite anime. So I do know a lot, a lot about it. So as we just saw that trailer, I didn't want to say anything. Now um, we're going to get into it. I'm going to point out some things. Because look at it. Of course, I, you know, if you're a fan of this, I got a lot of respect for you. So don't, so don't take this as no insult or nothing like that. Um, you know, there's a lot of people in the comments saying, you know, gameplay, gameplay. When we gonna get a gameplay trailer? And I'm with you. Like, for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm with you. I am with you. I want the gameplay trailer too. You get what I'm saying? I, I want to play the game. We got to wait till 2022. But, yo, if you look at this trailer, I think it tells you some things about the gameplay. Bust this. All right, cool, ominous, ominous setting. Some goons walking around with the big artillery. Dude got the, saw the silent silo cannon on his shoulder. <laughs> All purpled out. What the, what is this coming at us? 30 miles, now like 70 miles per hour. We just gonna wait right here too. Thing all lit up. Another ominous presence. Boom. Okay, they 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 pause that for a reason. They pause that for a reason. You saw that? Did you see that? Uh huh. Look at Ombre's face. Like the most important, the most important goon, the one who had the most star time, showed the most emotion. Um, Probably, if anybody was going to talk, it was going to be him. He's probably the leader, right? Face had the most detail. You saw what happened to him? My man Brandon was in was in that casket. Well, okay, that's Brandon Heat, formerly Brandon Heat, now known as gun, known as Grave, um, Gun Grave, beyond, from Beyond the Grave. You saw what that casket is, just did to the to the top dog. Just sent them out of here real quick. Just got rid of them. Now, look at this. That reminds you of maybe like a stealth kill, or a surprise kill, a one hit, or what one people call a one shot. Hey, let's get like a bing sound right there. <laughs> so you saw that, right? I think Brandon is going to be able to do some hand to hand in this. I think he's going to be able to do throws, you know, um, I think he's gonna be able to grab grab people in this one, you know, because remember it was just all guns, explosives, and all of that. So I think we're gonna be able to do some some more. I think Brandon is gonna be a little more in depth. He's gonna have a little more, um, I say, a broader broader range of attacks on this one. And there are group attacks. Not only are there group attacks, but there are there's friendly fire, cause look, 
Watch what just happened. After his neck got broken, because, you know, he had the intention to let off that silo cannon. And like his finger was on the trigger. And his man standing right in front of him, walked right into it, bang, got rid of him. You know what I'm saying? So I think they're going to have that to where if you pull off a certain type of stealth kill or surprise attack or, or they're positioned a certain way, that they'll be able to clap each other. Look, exit wound or entry. That's more of an entry wound. So they might they might show the detail as far as it's going to be on the five. So you might be able to see. Of course, they're going to have the more details, but there might be entry and exit wounds. Now, something that I wanted to show you, which is from the very beginning, but I didn't want to say it in the beginning. You remember? Remember we said. Brandon came down out that casket, right? So who was that? Right there. This one. This ominous presence. <laughs> who is this? I think... I think we have that Dr. Wiley type dude right here. I don't think it's him, though. Um, for some reason, I feel that this is a younger person. We got the blue layered highlighted here. It could be a girl, it could be a dude. This is anime, you know. The dudes spend the same amount of time in the salon as the women do with anime. And they'll shoot you to another planet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so don't question their masculinity. All right, um, so yeah, we see the shoulder here. Has, this looks like some type of electronic communicator like a bluetooth for something some form of you know cartoon version of a bluetooth but i also feel that this is a mask or a helmet so that communicator is within inside the that that mask or that helmet or that vindicator it looks like a bigger vindicator with with the communicator that green yeah i believe that green light just signals that that communicator but who is that though i mean is, so is that the person that that communicates with with, with a grave and helps them recharge and all that, all that stuff. Drives around those crazy machines, hooks them, hooks them up to the chair. Uh, I can forget that doctor's name, but <laughs> but yeah, I said Doctor Wiley. <laughs> uh, yeah, y'all might be too young for Doctor Wiley anyway. But this person was already there before Brandon got there. So this person scoped the place out, had some type of, um. Uh, what do you call it? like a I don't want to say GPS but some type of tracking system so it located it pressed the button and it summoned the the grave casket the gun grave casket from wherever that came from who knows where that came from out of the sky and landed in this point so let's let's run it back from the top and let me know if you notice these things. If I'm bugging, curse me out in the comments. Oh yeah, that's one more thing that I wanted to point out. Graves' hair is black. And this is the second trailer that I saw. For, for this for this game, the first trailer that I saw, his hair was black. Watching this trailer now, his hair is black. In the anime, when he 
when they necromanced him, when he became beyond the grave, his hair became a, a gray. You know what I'm saying? Like a like a dark like a dark gray. And sometimes it seemed pretty bright. Yeah, like in the daytime it seemed real bright. But oh, that's crazy how they how they would. Damn, yo, the details crazy, right? I never even thought about that. Um, but yeah, it was like a like a like a a gray, you know, a grayish color. Um, and I believe even up until the last game. So there has to be some type of story behind the the changing of 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 the hair color. Um, in this trailer, he's showing emotion. Now that could just be to attract the the general video game playing fan. You know what I mean? Showing him showing emotion. But again, this is my favorite anime. And I mean, even before the neck, before they killed them, before he got killed, he wasn't a very emotional. Like he didn't really show a lot of more. But he would smile. You know what I'm saying? He, he would smile. He would he would joke. He would laugh. But when he became Gungrave, there was no emotion in his face. He was dead, you know what I'm saying? He was necromanced. So he and he did not have emotion. So I wonder what's the story behind that? Are we only gonna see it in the video in the video game cinematics? Or does the demand for this gore start to to get Genia is it Genion? Gen, uh Genion, Genian, I forgot how you say that name. To get their studios to put this anime together again or to, to continue to anime. You know what I mean? And then we'll see why there's a change of the of the hair color, why we're seeing some emotion, you know? Um but yeah I'm I'm very interested in this. I wanna play it. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. I want to know more about this. I want to see other people out there. Oh, um, you know, this ain't my realm. I mean, you know what? It probably is my realm. I just ain't really been doing it. You feel me? Um, so no, I'm not going to say it's not my realm. But I'm not. I don't have the... the. I don't even have vlogging experience like that. But definitely the video game vlogging experience. I, but I'm, I like to play video games, you know, when I, when I get some time. I do like to take those little breaks from time to time. Um, and I know when I was growing up, I, li I liked them. And Gungrave is a favorite of mine. So I want to know everything. I want to know about the game. I want to know if they're continuing the, the anime. I would really love for them to continue the anime. I I, I, I would I look forward to that. What it sound like, you know, it's shoddy. I don't even want to go yet, man. <laughs>